We have the s- Welcome to the Scat Show. Yeah. I'm Scat Man Robert. <laughs> <laughs> what an intro. <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit. Uh, we're going to episode uh, 50. Yeah, but we, uh, we're, hey. doing, we're doing that the whole. I almost forgot. I, I, what's worse, that or the turntable? Wicka, 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 yeah, wicka. I feel like that's oh, better. <laughs> that's what Dylan does. And this yeah. is where we lose all of our videos. Yeah, Everyone clicked on something else. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone's gone. And we've lost them. Yeah. All right. Real quick, let's get through the YouTube-ish. Make sure to go ahead yeah. and like. Make sure to go ahead and subscribe. Click that bell because we're going to yeah. be talking about some stuff. People haven't clicked it. Pretty soon. People Bro, haven't yeah. clicked it. I Does anyone something. click the bell on any channel? Do you click the bell for anyone else? I got to start clicking more bells. If I'm I hit, I turn all notifications off, so no no bell no, for me. Right. But click no the bell, bell for us. Yeah. But do it for us, though. <laughs> you like notifications. We're different. Support you like, small business. You like a notification every Wednesday and more. It's and easier. more coming up. Quite more actually. Yeah. Wow. Uh, but yeah, let's just let's just get into some shit. Uh, Hell yeah. Yeah. I want to know what my boys have been up to. I want to know what Jerry's been up to. Have yes. you been coding, Jerry? I've yeah. been coding. Holy Jerry's shit. Been coding. Jerry. So- I haven't been doing a lot besides coding. <laughs> <laughs> you don't. Say. I want Jerry one one of these episodes. Jerry's gonna be like, I've created the best thing ever. Like with all these coding classes, is building up to something. Yeah, so right. keep watching. Mm-hmm. It's building up to something. Fucking, uh, every An time, I, every time I edit the podcast, since we've incorporated the chapters, I like segment what we talk about into little notes in a book. And it's just gone to the point where wherever Jerry's on the show, I just try to find a new way to make the word coding funny. It's like, you know what I mean? The other day was Code Wars. So we'll see what this fucking yeah. one. I've used something called Code Wars. That's why I yeah. fucking picked yeah. it. Mm-hmm. We talked about it. Yeah. We made it sound way too hype. But the, what the hell is an API? <laughs> an API is like, it's like a big ass, like, it's like a crap ton of data. I, I So I it's basically like live data. So. That's what I. That's how I was doing the weather thing today that I showed you guys in the chat. Yeah, because it brings in the data. Yeah, right? it brings in the data from somewhere that has the, that's like reliable. Yeah, 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 yeah. So it's kind of like so it'd be the same of like getting like stocks from like finance websites. Probably, yeah. yeah. Interesting. And cool. But some of them you have to pay for. And stuff yeah, like yeah, that. yeah, yeah. For to, to put into perspective, Jerry put in our chat earlier. He told us to name any place in the world. I said Vancouver, <laughs> and then Jerry went to a. a what did you make that? Or yeah, I made that. Yeah, yeah. like a little site where you put in vancouver and it tells you all the weather information mm-hmm. it's fucking insane. where jerry just made yeah. google yeah <laughs> jerry literally made weather google yeah 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 that's cool so, very what, cool what stuff. that's cool jerry Been jerry made the weather out. app yeah he's now making an app he's where you can get man. your cat fixed so that's your very cat nice fixed. <laughs> speaking of my on cat internet. we're gonna pretend like my cat didn't pee on the table yeah. before the show very uh, nice. We Thanks, Hunter. It it's, we're uh, good oh okay we're it's clean don't worry it's clean we're very clean Nice. Mm-hmm. Me and Dylan are the one whose minds are going to be controlled <laughs> or whatever cat shit or piss does the rest to you. of the podcast. You know, there's an episode of South Park where they said that that cat piss gets yeah. you like really high. Yeah, there's like a thing. Like yeah. there's a chemical in it that supposedly, uh, it, it like, it, it doesn't m- mind control humans, yeah. but it basically like, what is it? Like it's a fucking suggest shit or something? Yeah, like it's that? just, it's you're very easily suggest and it's like it can actually get you high. It gets you wow. like not to say like you're roo- naive almost like almost like, like roofy but not as cre- like not as okay. not as hard kind of there's a there's a drug called scopolamine that's very similar that's kind of like you know you like blow it in someone's face and like you could tell them to like give you money isn't that give devil's you money. dust oh, yeah. that's what like yeah yeah that's devil's what they call dust. it yeah yeah that's what they call it it's fucking crazy you imagine someone hits uh-huh. you with that that's like and then you're just like country. your bank card, your bank is empty you're like oh I handed someone five thousand dollars <laughs> I was oh yeah because they made you did that because they made me do it devil's dust man blow it in somebody. You do the hamster dance. Yeah. You imagine spending, that's what Jerry's like, working on next. <laughs> imagine spending the time to like drug somebody like that, and you take them to their fucking bank, and it's just empty. And you, yeah. <laughs> oh my! Like the thirty dollars. You took the time to somehow manage to find or make that. Yeah, you spent you, hundreds of dollars on this rare substance, and then now you blew it in someone's face, and they're just like, "I'm broke. <laughs> I'm broke. Yeah, yeah. Give me everything, all your money. You it's get, like five dollars. Sixty dollars and like two Pokemon cards. Like, yeah, yeah. Thank you, man." This is it? <laughs> How the fuck did we get here? <laughs> cat piss? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> How did we get the cat piss? Cat Jerry piss. coding? Like, yeah. Coding cat yeah. piss. And, uh, and then and devil's, devil's dust. dust. Oh, what Great f- chain reaction. Crazy. Yeah. What have you been up to, Dill? Oh, uh, well, today's my train week. Oh, all right. Yeah. And I've been taking the train a lot this week. Your train, today's yeah. your train week? Yeah. Well, over the past week, I've taken the train a lot more than usual. So this week was your train yeah. week, not today. Well, today's the train day. There you go. Yeah. Ah, mm. ah. But uh, on uh, Monday, I was going to a concert, right? I went with Joey. 
Very nice. Yeah. I lost them because I don't mosh anymore. It was very sad. <laughs> we're, I'm, we're past that. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, on the way back, there was a uh, so there was a woman on the corner seat of the A train. You know it, right? Hate to talk about trains once again, but she was uh, essentially giving. I don't know how to explain this, but she was talking to herself, giving an entire classified dossier report, <laughs> as if like she was like in the FBI mm-hmm. and there was like a criminal. <laughs> She does the whole shit in an hour. This girl's drugged out, and she's she, watched a lot of long. She, <laughs> she's like a middle-aged Jamaican woman. Uh, oh, yeah. cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, she, and she's giving a whole thing, and it involves every single member of the UN, like all public <laughs> officials. Like, and then we're gonna get this guy. Yeah, yeah, she no, no, no. What the yeah, fuck yeah, yeah. Is she happening? was like, she was like Commander de la Cruz, <laughs> like saying this crazy shit. Like, oh, Trump was involved. Trump Jr. Hill, the Clintons. Uh, what's the guy? Uh, the guy from China, the 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 uh, leader of China, China guy, I don't yeah, the China guy, yeah. Literally everyone was involved, and it was incredible. Like All it was. Right. I wish I would. I wish I recorded it. What if What if she was telling the truth? Yeah, well, I was right. Say, she what was if she's actually she was actually like uh, in the army. That was it. I think it was the army uh-huh. that she was doing. They did something. To uh, her. My favorite line that made everyone on the train, including this guy in front of me, that I didn't expect to laugh, had like the sit like this like brolic dude had like the silliest giggle. <laughs> <laughs> she was like, "I never met Oprah Winfrey," and everyone just <laughs> lost it because <laughs> it was like it was like celebrity, so cele- like famous people, and then Oprah Winfrey. It was bil- billionaires too. Gates was involved. Uh, she uh, Epstein. Oh my God. At one point, she said Jeffrey Epstein. Uh, she said that uh, Edward Snowden was her brother. <laughs> and at one That's point, a bit of an issue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So about thirty minutes Jamaican. in, we're all just like sick and like laughing. But yeah, at a certain yeah. point, we're like sick of it. And this black dude is just sitting there, like with his head down, and he just puts his head up, and he's like, "Bitch, <laughs> shut up, bitch. Fucking you, fuck. You're not in the army. Shut up. Like, <laughs> like saying this shut shit. Up. She just deadpan turns her face, and she's like, "I am not talking to you, sir. I am doing a report." <laughs> <laughs> now back to Commander they like and she goes right back into it and I'm like fuck bro bro it's like a fucking alien yeah on yeah Earth. yeah like, I was like, yeah, like uh, she's like reporting yeah. to like the, I the know dust what, in the air and they're what? watching her because I know she didn't create if she created this get her on any TV show on NBC right. but if she didn't like what was the base material that's what I'm curious about <laughs> right. like was it like uh it has was to it? have been inspired by yeah, something. Did she, yeah, word. Did she, was she have an audio book by like some guy, like, you know, like, or did she watch like 4th of July or some shit? Yeah. Like, I don't know. Fucking Independence yeah, Day. Social experiment. Shit. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Shout out to uh, Commander De La yeah. Cruz. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> what, how never she meeting Oprah. It. Yeah. No, I, the, for some reason, the, the her saying the Oprah Winfrey part reminded me. I saw a clip today. It was like an Instagram reel, and it was like a guy in the theater watching the new Candyman. And there's like this really like tense part where like the main character is looking in the mirror, and Candyman's like there, like about to get him. And the strings go up, and it's like, and then it's quiet, and then the guy just goes, Candyman. <laughs> and everybody in the theater starts fucking crying. It's Candyman. And I was like waiting for it because the caption is like making everyone in the theater laugh by saying Candyman at the right time. It's like super tense. It's like, Candyman. <laughs> Like, oh, I man. love shit like that in the theater. Shit like oh, that kills man. me, bro. Go to a theater, and just like hearing people shout out shit is funny as hell. Word. Movie theater is a different vibe. Theater is great, man. I'm happy it's back. Word. I still need to go back. I haven't gone back yet, bro. We've been telling you. I I, I told them without spoiling him. I was I was spoiling it. I was like, Joey, you have to watch. Venom if you're gonna watch. Yeah. yeah. If, if you don't remember, I'm I'm waiting for Spider Man. I'm waiting. I'm waiting for the right movie. I don't think. <laughs> <laughs> it's a special thing, you know. It's a very special, special thing. I'm waiting for the right Who movie. Who are you going to you gonna go by I'm yourself? I'm not that type of person. <laughs> are you going to go by yourself? Uh, to what? See Spider-Man? Yeah. No, I'll go with a group of people. <laughs> What's it that way? It's the way it doesn't so, matter. So the problem isn't, oh, the group of people or the theaters. It's just that I have no interest and I kind of want to wait for Spider-Man. Well, like, what if it's something that sets it up? Then I'll watch it. There you go. So then let's watch it. <laughs> <laughs> that's how we started yeah, this. like that was like hey this movie directly ends with the leading like to, to sp- like so it. then we're gonna have to watch it bro yeah yeah like maybe tomorrow or something yeah Dude, i'm down uh, what do you fucking see your saved shit on facebook yeah i didn't know you could save stuff on what yeah. do you mean saved yeah. shit you can like save videos and stuff i was looking for the candy man thing i'll find it on my phone <laughs> can you man. can you just save something on like your feed and then cl- like it will give you a link no like uh, you know how on instagram you can save videos yeah yeah yeah, yeah. You can well, but, on Facebook. but i'm saying if you save something 
on the like on the website, it would it would probably pop up and you could like click on the link to uh, view it. You mean to tell me Facebook and Instagram are the same thing? I also, I also you're right. share, I wanna, <laughs> the what did you guys do during the shutdown the last week? That. I want to hold on. I want to. What'd you guys do? Shut up! I want to share something. Oh. Yeah, I want to see this and then we'll go into the shutdown. I wanted to share uh, this spam message I just got. Yeah. AT and T free message. September bill processed. Thanks, Bayardo. Bayardo. <laughs> Uh, I don't know if you know this, but my name is not Bayardo. <laughs> Bayardo. No, that's that's what you change it. Change the opening when you fill their names. <laughs> Bayardo. <laughs> Bayardo. <laughs> what did you do during the fucking shutdown? I, don't know, right, I thought you had that. I literally set it up already. What do you mean? I set I th- that I was shit waiting up. for something. And then, all right. Anyways, what did I do during the shutdown? Yeah. Kept checking Instagram because I would think I was in a conversation <laughs> oh. with someone. Oh, okay. <laughs> and I yeah. kept checking it, and I was like, oh shit. <laughs> yeah, I can't respond. I can't respond. That's all I because I don't use Facebook or WhatsApp. Like uh-huh. I, I don't use yeah. that. Yeah, me neither. But I was like, I had like funny pictures and funny memes I wanted to share, and I kept yeah, opening Instagram. And I was like, uh, and then I, at one point, like I wasn't sure if it was down, so I was like putting messages and just figured like nobody else was talking. So I was like, oh man, chat is dead today. Like nobody's. <laughs> I mean, that's talking. the. I mean, Literally. it's weird that people don't assume it. Like whenever any of my apps don't work, the first thing I do is check it. Like when I my Google it. Like when when my when yeah, my PlayStation doesn't work, I don't check my check internet. I I go to Down Detector immediately because I'm like my internet works fine. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And every time it's either my shit's being stupid or like PSN's actually down, mm-hmm. which yeah. is common. Yeah. yeah, I do that too a lot. They said it was down what like six hours or something like that. What the long, Facebook yeah. and yeah, that was long. It was yeah. six hours, I would say. I just like played games. I think that I loved good. the I loved reading all the people who like immediately got back onto Facebook and started all those conspiracies about how Zuckerberg was secretly like plotting something for the past six hours, and it was like, <laughs> yeah, because that's definitely Mark Zuckerberg just decided to wake up one day in October and was like, oh, I'm gonna shut everything down. For uh, there, like the conspiracy <laughs> does make sense. That, I'm not <laughs> arguing the conspiracy. Yeah. I'm arguing. The, the conspiracy pe- against Mark Zuckerberg yeah. specifically, because like these people were literally saying like he was down at the server. Oh, like, he, uh, like, he literally like is he's turning the game. Yeah, like, like he did it himself. Like I mean, he put he lowers the visor. I, I, shut I, it down, I boys. I fully believe there's some conspiracy yeah, yeah, shit yeah, going yeah, yeah. along. But like they make it seem like this guy's in a pulling the plug striped shirt and a fucking <laughs> raccoon mask, and he's like doo 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 doo. And he's, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah, it's time to shut this baby down. I like the, like you said the people that went right on about conspiracy theories. There's also a portion of people that went on to shit talk the app. Like the minute the app was back on, fuck this app, man. This yeah, was this was those, are, those are the people who like live off of that app. Yeah, it's like if you're mad about the shutdown, you obviously like this app a lot. A lot. A lot. Yeah. Like you, like like Jerry yeah. said, do something, play games, do something, <laughs> else. do something else, go to work. I, I don't mean, know. That day after it came back, sucked too. Everything was just like, oh. Yeah. I was taking a test Instagram or something. Was yeah. gone. Like, I was working on a lot of stuff, but I I remember checking up back and forth while I was working. Just did a lot of joystick shit. Yep. Mm-hmm. It'd be like that. Which speaking of that, no, not yet. No, shut up. Who's next? Joey's next. Yeah. Oh, did you, Joey, oh did you, did you wonder Joey why shit. this mask was sitting Joey here on this had table? An eventful ass week. He did, homie. Yeah. Man went on a plane. Yeah. Matt rode the Fast and Furious ride. Oh, homie hell went, yeah. Homie went to somewhere really cool today. I want to know what my boy's been up to. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I wasn't going to get into Halloween Horror Nights. Well, now you are. Oh, now I am. <laughs> yeah. But it was really dope. Uh, I mainly wanted to go there because I've, I've never been there before. And uh, with COVID, like, because the plane tickets were cheap and everything, I just decided, you know, F it. And I bought tickets way in advance. And I was hyped, I was hyped to hear that one of the houses were the a Haunting Hill house, the Netflix. Mm-hmm. That I liked. I enjoyed that a lot. And I was like, oh, shit, that's going to be dope. Beetlejuice came back, and my cousins were freaking out. Uh, my family lives in Florida, so they were freaking out because they were like, Beetlejuice is a rare occurrence in Universal Studios. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They were like, he used to have like his own show, and, they and then they out. got rid of it. And like, they don't. it's very rare that they use Beetlejuice, so they brought him back. And I was like, oh, cool. That, that's awesome, too. Uh, it was really dope. Um, they had like minimal scare zones because covid they were doing the restrictions right. yeah but it was a it was a better offer than what disney was doing because i also wanted to do disney mm-hmm. disney was like yeah we're still doing it but we're doing some restrictions uh you're not meeting any of the characters there's no meet and greet we're not distributing candy and there's not going to be a firework show mm-hmm. because everyone's there but yeah. it's the same thing yeah give yeah. us money <laughs> hey it's and i was like things no. are har- halloween themed that's it <laughs> like literally no, what that's said. literally what yeah. it was and i was like that's not worth the money but universal it, it was i had a lot of fun out there Universe is a lot of fun. Well, the one year I did it, it was top. 
Yeah, it was dope. I don't know if I'd go again. They were asking us, are you going to go again next year, next Halloween? And I was like, it was kind of hard to find a dog sitter and also like take these days off to get out there to begin with. I want us to go together to like Universal because that shit is mad fun. But I want to go out like a super off time. Like I don't want to go holidays. I don't want to go like middle uh, of summer. January it's 30th. It's just got to be a fucking weird ass like <laughs> four day weekend or something. It's <laughs> going like, all right, guys, we're to fucking go ride I'm roller coasters. My, on a ride in my parka. <laughs> <laughs> in like a ski it's cap. not even that cold Pete and winter. fucking I, I'm joking, like obviously. 60, yeah, 70s. yeah. It's, it's fine in there. It's like fall. Yeah, whatever. which we'll call it. Uh, went cold. to a concert with Dylan. Yeah, uh, lost. I lose. <laughs> sorry, I lose Dylan a lot in concerts lately. Yeah. Like I just kind of like run ahead, and then I'm like, yeah. all right. I and lost I, back in the day, I used to have a lot more energy, so it was like easier to handle that. Now that that concert was pretty crazy. They were going like really hard, and to, part put, of, to put that in perspective, real quick, Joey was talking about the concert in the chat, but Dylan wasn't. So, like, Joey said something in the chat along the lines of, like, oh, this first band or something was good. And Dylan was like, oh, that's sick. Or some, I don't know. Blah, blah, blah. But I didn't know that Dylan was also there mm-hmm. until I saw Dan Delgado's post yeah. where fucking uh, you commented on it. Yeah. He was like, oh, I didn't know you were there. And then I was like, Dylan was there, too. Yeah, I was yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Damn, what There the was fuck? a like, ton of people at that concert. It's just one of those 19 yeah. concerts. Yeah. Dylan yeah. There was also this drunk dude too. that I started a conversation with. Uh, and then Nate- <laughs> And I thought there was this drunk dude that was like drunk as hell. And like no, I said, he, you didn't start the conversation. He, he would, overheard. He overheard us talking about another band. And yeah. he was like, hey, you talking about yeah. that band? And he intru- I saw that band. And it went. Introduced uh. himself, shook everyone's hand. And I'm like, damn, this drunk guy is here alone. I was like, I felt really bad for him. And then I saw like two women come and they're like, Mike. And I'm like, thank fucking yeah, God. Yeah, I was like, thank God. That. I'm about to leave. And, and every time I saw him, and he was mad drunk. So every time I saw him, I was like middle of the crowd, essentially. And anytime he walked past me, I'd be like, Mike. He'd be like, stop, dap me up, leave. And I'm like, <laughs> Mike's cool. Mike's a cool guy. <laughs> Mike wouldn't leave me alone. Like yeah. at, Dylan left Mike. But Mike, I was, I sat and listened to Mike's life story and I didn't want to hear it. I was just like, I'm waiting for the band to start. Please. Can the band start? Like I snuck like, uh, I was getting Mike on the show. I snuck like eight people away. I was like, yeah, no, I'm not. Fucking Dylan and Mike are tight. (laughs) He was cool. Stay tuned for our our upcoming guest. Mike. Which my God. But I, the, the moshing, the mosh pits were like really heavy because, uh, what I learned from Mike (laughs) <laughs> he's he was saying i think a lot of people are just like after what happened in 2020 and there wasn't a lot of concerts we're just glad to be back and some people this is their first time going to a concert and stuff and i'm like yeah it's could be their first time coming back after the pandemic everyone also forgot how to say excuse me people forgot Word, in general, people forgot everything but people were going really hard i saw a guy's head bleeding Jesus one minute geez. i'm jumping around i'm dancing i turn around and there's a guy like walking around his head gushing mm-hmm. and i'm like me oh shit that's, that's someone, that's someone, that's someone that almost uh, that almost happened to me at a concert so when i saw Same. that guy that's when i was like i should probably stand back like i'm gonna <laughs> stay away from these freaking crazy ass people in the pit man oh, and then uh this thing i'm sure you're wondering what this is what did you do today uh today i went to comic-con new york city comic-con i go every year but uh this year i went on a friday because i was four minutes late signing in so uh, I was caught slacking. I didn't get my Saturday tickets. So I went four Friday. Minutes. Yeah, just by four <laughs> minutes. I was four minutes late. And you lazy bum. I'm sorry. <laughs> I, uh, but anyways, uh, my sister and I, we went up as characters from Fear Street, uh, part one and two, which is a Netflix movie. It's a trilogy. And um, yeah, it was really dope. I walked around. Uh, I bought a lot of horror stuff, which made me realize, did I go to the wrong convention? Because <laughs> this is Comic-Con. There's like... Spider Man and like Storm and Wolverine have you been and to, like, Hulk. Horror convention? Are they like do they have those? I yeah, I you I googled them after that because I realized <laughs> I'm walking around with my big bag and I'm looking at my bag. I have a Jason Voorhees painted picture like like a uh, watercolor paint. Mm-hmm. I have um, a portrait of like the Exorcist scene. I have a figure of Sam from Trick or Treat. I have like another portrait of Sam from Trick or Treat and like other prints and like props that I'm like. This is all horror movie related. Like, not a single thing I have superhero related or comic book related. I did buy a Spider Man drawing, but it was like creepily drawn. I was waiting for Joey to be like, I had a chainsaw. <laughs> yeah, right there. Yeah. I had a dismembered foot. 100 pounds of candy. Word no, of candy. I mean, I think you're just excited. Word. Yeah. It could be. Yeah, it's, I it's think the you're month just of the October. Mood. I'm in the mood. But yeah. uh, I was like, I, gotta, I looked up after I left Comic Con. Is there horror conventions? There's one coming up the 25th, I think. Only 25 bucks. And nice. I was like, oh, let's right. go. 
I'm gonna go to that. I'm uh, actually gonna. I'm very interested to see what that is, because uh, uh, like I love spooky shit. I scared the shit out of a few kids because like, it's Comic Con. They're like, I'm gonna bring my kid to this. He's gonna be Spider Man. <laughs> it's gonna be mad cute. I'm walking around and a kid sees me and he's like, <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I'd I'd I'd, I'd give into that. Yeah, like I said last I mean, week, I just horrified no kids. No mouth mask. Yeah, yeah word. And you or can't start, see. Like, straight, just like, <laughs> no, like, in fact, it wasn't just children. I scared a lot of people. And like I kind of got annoyed because like you know at Comic Con there's not a lot of people that come like are socially like right. they're socially awkward people. There's people that speak and won't shut up. There's such a mix of people that you don't mm-hmm. know who you're gonna meet. For sure. But um, I went to uh my mother, not my mother, my sister and my father went into a small booth and I didn't want to go in there and it's already I can't see in this mask that well. I was like I'm gonna just go off to the side. So I walk over to the side and I just stand against like a booth. And there was people next to me, and they're staring at me. I could kind of see it that they're like, and I'm wondering, like, what the fuck are you looking at? Like, what are you looking at? <laughs> and then I overhear the guy. I don't know. He just came and started standing here. I don't know. He's just standing there. <laughs> and and I'm like, bro, yeah. this isn't like horror nights. I'm here standing world, waiting for my father. The world where Joey is like with his family, and these people are horror. They're like, who's this man? Who's this guy? I'm so like, I'm, worried. And like, I'll he's walk. In a costume. I'm he's gonna, walking in directions he's an and. Actual- Murder room. <laughs> an actual murderer has come to Comic Con. Yeah, an yeah. actual murderer is at Comic Con. But like, I would walk like, like, cause it got crowded, and we were like, "Hurry, we need to go." And I was like, uh, "I'm gonna walk to the pillar." And I started like fast walking to the pillar. That the woman against the pillar kind of was like, like got into like a <laughs> stance. Like, what is this man gonna do? And I'm like, "I'm gonna just gonna stand near the pillar. <laughs> I'm not coming to scare you, <laughs> threaten you. I'm just gonna. I came here to buy shit. Yeah. Like, come on, guys." <laughs> And it happened way too many times that it started to annoy me. Like, a lot of people kind of taking a double back or thinking I'm staring at them because yeah. you can't see my eyes. So some people thought I was staring at them. They're, like, looking back at me like... <laughs> and then I'm like, I don't see you, stupid. Like, yeah. I'm going to go as a superhero next time. Where I'm just going to go naked next time. <laughs> don't go, just go horrify. Something horrifying, yeah. yeah you see Attack on a Titan? I'm a Titan. See? Mm. They're all like that. <laughs> They're all naked. Yeah. What's up? I'm Adam from Adam and Eve. <laughs> and you know what's funny? The, the first piece of fiction ever. <laughs> the like first the fir- comic book. The first, yeah, God. exactly. <laughs> the first comic, bro. Yo, and what happens? What happens? They die. Yeah, yeah, spoiler. Spoiler. The first comic book. I'm Adam, bro. <laughs> bro, you gotta stay with it, bro. This is part where this yeah. flood comes in, bro. <laughs> Oh, this homie gets two of every Yo, animal bro, in the bro, world. Bro, you skipped Crazy. the Cain and Abel episode. What the fuck? Yo, the Cain and Abel. Yeah. Yo, that one was pretty deep. I cried. Disney's Bible. What if? <laughs> what if? Oh, my what Lord. if Cain and Abel were gay? Broke back mountain. What if Noah brought three of every animal? <laughs> <laughs> It's like so Noah dumb. on the boat. He's like, no, all right, I've guys, seen... there's a lot of animals on this <laughs> boat. We're going to have to start fucking getting rid of some species here. Yeah. <laughs> nah, but people dress up. I wouldn't be surprised if someone did that at Comic-Con. People, like, dress up as, like, gender bent versions or just some, like, crazy mixed fusion versions of, like, what if, like, Spider-Man is, like, the Pope? Like, what if, yeah. uh, is there, like, like, they'll just walk I around love and, like, yeah, mix things. Damn, mix I'm, I'm, I'm really not trying to be, like, sacrilegious, <laughs> but now I just want to see, like, a brolic Jesus. <laughs> Like, you know, he's wearing the robes and everything, but this guy is yoked, you know what I mean? Yeah. But still humble about it. He's like, my, my son. Yeah, <laughs> you know yeah, yeah. I mean? He's talking as if he's not giant. Yeah. I wouldn't be surprised. You don't know what's going to happen. Also, I feel like bro. that's also an excuse for, like, people that can't pull off a costume to pull it off. Like, yeah. what if, what if, what if right. Batman was fat that. and ugly? <laughs> <laughs> like yeah yeah so so what if i was what so 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 what if zeus was five foot one and didn't leave his basement (laughs) like honestly yo this 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 probably could be tall people problems Um, i'm like five ten and sometimes when i'm walking around like especially comic-con there's a lot of people moving around they're dressed as superheroes or they're padding there's like kids too yeah and there's like like short dudes like walking around like with like brolic padding and stuff and i'm like hovering over them like I, i'm always like hey, <laughs> hey buddy that is it is, i never even thought like about superman that. there's this short guy yeah. walking around <laughs> <long padding. laughs> and i'm like taller oh, than like him like, serial killer, <laughs> like all right okay <laughs> fucking krypton yeah <laughs> oh man amazing oh, man. 
I need to go back to Comic Con. Yeah, been just once. make just make fun. Where like, I the first time I got introduced to Comic Con because of Bobby. Bobby was uh, knew a lot of people that were talking about it. He was interested about it, and he brought it up to me and Jerry, and was like, "You want to go to Comic Con this year?" Like a lot of people in my school are talking about it, and I was like, "Oh, okay, I'll go." I've never been to one before. And uh, I enjoyed it. I go like every year, and then you guys like went once that one time. Two is enough for me. <laughs> Two is enough, <laughs> and that and that's coming from somebody who likes comic books. Yeah. A I was lot. about to say you yeah. love comic books. Yeah. I'm surprised you wouldn't want to be there. No, comic Con is fucking annoying, Loki. It's also a lot more fun when you have money. Yeah, that's Keep true. In mind, yeah, we used to oh go my god, when we were like 16. Yeah, I spent. I, mean. I think I spent like 300 dollars there. Yeah. Exactly. Mm-hmm. But uh, no, like Comic Con is, first Comic time is cool. It's just more like uh, I think, like as an adult now, I'd get it more of a kick <laughs> of going to Comic Con for like panels and shit. Like that. yeah, yeah I would. I mean, I I get it. Like also, if you're like going to like meet someone, or yeah, it's like you're getting yeah, yeah. like a fo- a signed Autograph photo and something. things yeah. like that. Like all of that stuff makes a lot of sense yeah. to me. But I I like I've only done like side events. I've never done like the actual. Yeah. Like There's I did, uh, I did Green Grimms Live, for example. Yeah, and that oh, was cool. that was affiliated was with like at the theater. Yeah, 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 because it was like the theater hosted by Comic Con or yeah, whatever. Yeah, yeah. But it wasn't like actually Comic Con. Mm-hmm. It was like separate. You remember that that uh, Sony thing that they had? Well, the play the PlayStation like. Uh... Oh, we went to that. Oh wait, there was like a museum, right? It was something like that. I don't. I didn't get the tickets. Like I didn't make it in time. But no, me and Bobby went to the the premiere thing. No, we went yeah. to the E three that was in the theater. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was yeah, at the so PlayStation that, Theater. That. We went to there that. we go. The PlayStation. Yeah. I didn't even know PlayStation had a damn theater, bro. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't really remember. It was cool though. Yeah, yeah. That was uh, they. I remember that. That was when they like unveiled Last of Us Two. Yeah, they that uh, was there Spider-Man. a lot of nerdy. Was there a lot Ghosts of nerdy of screaming? Shishimi. 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 Ghosts yeah. of Shishumi. Shishumi. <laughs> Ghosts of Tsunami. Was there a lot of nerdy screaming like in the trailer? <laughs> it was actually and, like yeah, it was pretty, it was people like, trying to be funny. What? That's what she said. <laughs> was for sure, yeah. yeah, there was a lot of that, but then there was also a lot like it was one of like the lower key ones. Yeah, because like besides Last of Us Two, that was like the only like hype game. Because if you remember, like, for, like, the Ghosts game, didn't they, like, bring on a guy with, like, a flute and he played for, like, five yeah. minutes? And it was yeah. like, oh. Like, there was also that, so everyone was just sitting, like, <laughs> what the fuck is <laughs> I like remember a, that. A theater of confused nerds. Like, what is <laughs> Watching this? this short little, like, Asian man play the flute. Yeah. And, like, like, we want, we want Call of Duty. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> Could you show us the game? Yeah. <laughs> Could you show us fucking flute? <laughs> it was that scene from SpongeBob <laughs> where the Squidward... The hand. Oh, an X- jellyfish. An Xbox achievement on <laughs> Minecraft on an iPad <laughs> at E3. <laughs> we a, could, I could literally. You guys I love don't have phones. Bad E3 is like one of my favorite oh, things. Sure. It is what like it is like so deep good. in my heart one of my favorite things ever. When these people are trying to hype up their game or their product and it's just not working with Peggle. The crowd. So cringe. Peggle. Peggle two. Or no. Whatever. Peggle two. Yeah. Peggle two. Uh, my my favorite's the. Imagine it, if you will. Imagine with me. You're supposed to imagine with me. Or it's like guys, like people that like don't. I remember one year it was like uh, uh, EA just hired like a billion people to be on there. So they got like 20 YouTubers. They got like uh, Samuel L. Jackson. They got Snoop Dogg, Wiz Khalifa, every big like YouTube star. They got like half of Rooster Teeth. I love Teeth. when they get Snoop Dogg. They got, yeah. Gavin, Snoop Ga- Dogg. They got Gavin and Bernie from Rooster Teeth also. Snoop Dogg gets so, so it was, into it, but so, he's like, he's always smoking yeah. a blunt while he's playing. Yeah, it doesn't yeah, yeah. matter what game he's playing, but he's just like, this Yo, is sick. This, this is, is sick. sick. He has to have like a really good price because he's yeah. doing like everything. No, right? no. Right. This, this is the thing. The, it, like Snoop Dogg has done like over 500 paid features. That's what I'm Meaning saying. that Snoop Dogg is really cheap and he shows up to everything. Like that's the thing. That's if you, dope. If you pay Snoop Dogg, he'll show up. That's yeah. crazy. You think he'll come to the joystick? Yeah. <laughs> Yo, Snoop Dogg on the joystick show, I mean, please. What a fit. I mean, that's a very good fit. Uh, <laughs> fucking kick Jerry out real yeah. quick. Bye, Jeff. Yeah. Sorry. Bye, Jerry. We're going to the Joyce's show. It's me, Dylan, Joey, and <laughs> Snoop Doggy Dog. <laughs> and our What's good up? friend. Oh, my God. We, not for nothing. That episode would actually start off more like, hey, this is Bobby, and I'm really yeah, fucking yeah, yeah. gone right now. <laughs> Snoop Dogg will bring some because shit to your Snoop house. Snoop smokes the most potent shit. He meets your parents. Your dad is like in the base. Like, your dad's sleeping down here. He's on the couch. He's <laughs> the like, camera's like kind of down. The camera's like... You ever wonder? <laughs> <laughs> or he's asking him weird shit. Yo, Snoop, when you made that, like your dad's asking <laughs> mad specific Bob shit. Bob would do that. Yo, Snoop, remember that time? Do you remember In 97, that? Yo, Snoop, when you, you made this song. Stuart, right? yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> Yo, how how is that person? <laughs> Fucking, uh, one last shout outs to Joey. 
Because Joey actually uh, sent me $30 last night, which uh, I put in the other 30 to buy a new hard drive. Because wow. over the past year and change that we've been working on the Joystick Show, we have officially filled two terabytes. Hell yeah. Worth of fucking space. Wow. Which is a lot. Data, man. So we just bought a brand new two terabyte hard drive. Nice. To start putting brand new footage on. And you know where that brand new footage is going to be found? <gasps> right here on the Joystick Show. Phase two, baby. Oh, yeah. We've been talking about it for uh, for a bit. Mm-hmm. So uh, check this shit out. No, I'm sorry, I am wrong. Twenty-five uh, percent of sixty is fifteen. So it's. <laughs> Never played this game. I know you like look at cameras oh and shit. Oh my fuck! Oh my fuck! I don't like this. I'm out of power. I'm out of power. I suck at this game, guys. Oh, so now we just sit here. Uh. I just sit here. Oh, fuck you. Oh. Fuck you, bro. You know what? I'm going to do this with you also. So let me grab this guy here. I will put you here. We're doing a combo? Yeah, man, for sure. I, I really like I really like this. So you're looking for consistency like this. Jerry, you little bitch! Let's go, Jerry! Yeah. So. Oh, wow, that shit. was cool. Wow. <laughs> Look how crazy it made your hair. I know that was so <laughs> crazy. My hair went crazy because of it. <laughs> yeah. So that's uh, that's phase two. Yeah. Fucking some stuff we've been cooking up for quite a bit, quite literally, with uh, some of the stuff you probably saw. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, we're uh, gonna obviously continue the joystick show, not going away. We're working on some new segments to put on the show, make the some trivia yep for sure wow. i don't know if anybody caught dylan's amazing meme trivia segment i should have saved it for this week. week honestly but it was good yeah and then we had that stupid audio issue but yeah we still made it work mm-hmm. it, it came out good yeah, yeah. i love that yeah it was a great segment yeah. for sure uh working on some new content new, new show with joey we talked about yeah. it on channel fear got some new episodes of that we even uh met up yesterday ah! to <laughs> some spooky season <laughs> we got some spooky season videos coming out yeah we just filmed another one last night and then uh then joey made me play a drunken bar fight video and i punched joey in the face <laughs> <laughs> yeah Amazing. i made bobby play a vr fighting game joey's in a bar. way too nice because the game is literally like it's in a bar with random ai and you just beat the shit out of them and i'm just <laughs> like fuck you fuck you and then i obviously feel myself hit something and i go like that and joey's like smiling rubbing his face and i'm like did i hit you and you're and Joey's just like it was only my jaw you're fine I'm like bro it wasn't that hard like uh, you punched it was like I was like the right amount of distance not for it to be hurt yeah, that much yeah, like if I was closer I think it would have hurt more yeah. but I was like just far away from enough where it was like a little tap I was like oh shit and for what it's worth I can't sit in that VR fucking machine for like more than 10 minutes before I start to get like vertigo and shit so the fact that Joey's able to uh, man up and do that show He's in a real horror trooper. games no yeah. like no different that's fucking insane. do you get scared watching like the TV uh, it's since we've learned like from the first episodes there's some episodes that we filmed a while ago for the show that didn't come out because we have we like learned shit yeah but like back then like the brightness on the TV was really low so like Joey seeing all this crazy shit that's happening yeah. and he's hearing it and the people watching it were really we're just like what the fuck is going on <coughs> so after we fixed that and it's also like a choice in games too like we started to play a lot more scary games too, yeah so that definitely added to it our, right. our testing videos were a lot of 
puzzle games. So it'll be me wandering around like, like 15 minutes. And we're like, where do we go? Where like, am I going? And it's yeah, not scaring anymore. All, it's yeah. not scary anymore. You're just going to watch me be confused. Weird. Yeah. Uh, so that's coming out. That's pretty exciting. We got some old favorites coming out. A uh, little Rewind cooking time. show with my father, yeah, my chef's son. We just filmed. Uh, we have, as of now, three of those done, cooked up. Ooh. Joey just came this week to do one. Actually, it was a yeah. very fun. You should episode. watch it. It's huh. very fun, fun, fun. <laughs> I like it. No, cake. Uh, it's, <laughs> it's really good. Uh, it's delicious, actually. Uh, those are coming out, and a lot of people. It's funny, actually, because uh, well, this isn't funny, but my mom went to a funeral yesterday. <laughs> what oh, thanks, thanks, Joey. What? I said you, it's not funny, Joey. But why would you even start it with it's not funny? Funerals yeah. aren't funny. I said it's not funny. Whatever. Go ahead. <laughs> it's not funny. <laughs> Okay, go ahead. <laughs> but he's saying it like you prefaced it. Yeah, with you're you're funny. saying yeah. it like it's gonna be funny. No, but no, but I mean that's, me that's casual conversation. Story. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's Thank not you, funny. Dylan. We're right? a like, funny yeah, like, podcast. It makes sense. Go on, Bobby. <laughs> Thank you, Dylan. Anyway, the funeral wasn't funny, but what was funny yeah. about okay. the situation? Joey, okay. Was that apparently a lot of people at the funeral? Keep in mind that I haven't seen in over ten years. Were asking my mom about the chef's son. Like, oh, they wow. were like they were like where's bobby and bobby's show like where was it we love that thing yeah. not to the point where people i haven't seen and i haven't seen in over a decade told my mom like he's so good on the podcast this thing i was like these motherfuckers watch the podcast yeah. <laughs> no, it catches not only does it catch me off guard how many people will sit through most if not all of the podcast right. yeah, but the amount of family members which is why the chef's son is like our best show yeah is because everyone cooks everyone eats mm -hmm. and everyone's family fucking cooks too so all of your family members are like hey i saw you make this this was cool yep. it doesn't it doesn't have an age preference like right. cooking mm -hmm. is universal Hell yeah. So, Just uh, like Chef uh, Gustavo in Ratatouille 2 said, everyone could cook. <laughs> <laughs> Put that on screen, Bob. <laughs> edit that, edit that. <laughs> edit like the gif of the reading. My brain is on fire right now. <laughs> it's, it's, it's more so because I watched Ratatouille like two nights ago. Bob, the scene is just <laughs> repeating in Bobby's head. Just like fucking spy. He's like, he's he like, said, Chef Gustavo in Ratatouille 2. <laughs> So there's a sequel to Ratatouille with a Mexican yeah. chef. <laughs> What's the name of the chef? Gusto. <laughs> it's like a French Gusto, yeah, Mexico Gustavo. It's his Gustavo. last name too. <laughs> I forgot the chef's oh, name. Man. I knew it was like Goose something. Shout out to Commander <laughs> De La Cruz <laughs> and Chef Gustavo. Chef two amazing chef fictional Go characters. Chef Goose. <laughs> Honk. If it, uh, it fits the, the animal theme oh, too. Man. Uh, yeah, so uh, yeah. What, what, what we cover Joystick Show, Chefs on Fear. Uh, yeah. We have some Let's Plays in the yeah, can some too. Game, some, hey. good old, some good old gaming content. We have gamers, be let's ready. Plays. We actually have technically four Let's Plays, but two of which were supposed to come out and will come out soon. We're, gonna, we're actually just 80 million Let's Plays. We're just, you know, storing up yeah. like a... Mm -hmm. Hibernating board. Oh, that's do, honestly all been we what do it is. is. Play games. Bro. If uh, for the rare like one viewer that's here that's been with us for the past eight years, shout out to that guy. Where but that you fucking, been... uh, if then you know that joystick kind of goes through periods where we do really really good, and then something happens and we don't make content for like three years. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so because of that, Got a little that, backlog. You know, now that we yeah. want to like expand and we want to start doing more stuff and start putting out more uploads, we want to make sure that we have enough in the backlog so that that doesn't happen. Yeah. So it. if any emergency Where, happens, if you know, you know, snowstorm, when the I world fall. ends, we'll still be posting because exactly. we have all these videos like lined up. COVID it's it's like run. every single joystick member <laughs> fell in front of a bus. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I found out. Fucking <laughs> Say that joke again in case they didn't hear it. <laughs> I heard the punchline. <laughs> he says, in case an apocalypse happens, we'll still be making And he was like, his older brother, bro, <laughs> put, put like a COVID, the, the, the little disease, but like a hat on it. <laughs> I imagine like fucking, you remember how like Eddie always hyped up his brother? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. He's like, my He's older like brother. My brother. My bro. <laughs> then he ends up being a fucking dick. <laughs> bro, I loved Ed and Eddie. But you eat your own shit, Eddie. Eddie's like, Say oh, uncle, Eddie. Please. Okay. Okay. Eat it, Eddie. Uh, so phase two. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And not Ed and Eddie. Yeah, we're we're not, AKA, sadly. We are, we are not sadly the original Cartoon Network gotcha. program. Yeah. So yeah, stay tuned. Now that when we say click the bell, definitely click mm -hmm. the bell because there's gonna Please be a lot more Please click uploads. the bell and more. Two to three weeks. The, so. the, uh, the fans, the 
Amp- the ampersand. Oh, okay, there you go. Yeah. Sand. So for sure, check it out. We're really proud of the stuff that we've got coming, and uh, you know, this is just phase two. Wait till we get to fucking phase three. And you start. Wait till we get to phase. It's five. like it's like uh, it's like a uh, putting out like a movie a week. <laughs> we fight, we fight what's Thanos the what's in the phase the Price is Right game where it keeps going up? Oh fucking! It's like uh, that, but it's uh, like that, but uh, no uh, fall uh, off. Uh, Cliffhanger. Uh, yeah, there yeah, you go. it's that, but there's no cliff. Mm-hmm. We just we just keep going. Shout outs, fuck just, you, cliff. Shout outs to it. between the lions, cliffhanger guy. Damn, and, and that's, that's why they call him cliffhanger. Can't, can't hold. On uh, I think the only we know this, bro. Longer, bro. If you know what that is, yeah. kudos to you. It's that PBS. You life. watched you PBS at your abuela's house, didn't you? Yeah, I did for sure. I. I remember. I don't remember that. I watched lines. Nick it was, it and was a, it on the screen. It was I think a show I s- about a library that was run by a family of lions. I think they were Jamaican lions. I, I think know. they were Jamaican lions. Yeah. They were Jamaican lions. But it was an interesting show because it was like the the you know it was an educational show. It centered around like uh, reading, reading, and reading like and literacy, grammar, and all that stuff. But like the show was made up of like little segments, it was so like sketches. Like, yeah. Like, boop, boop. So it had like its own little parts, and one of them was, well, probably the most famous one was Cliffhanger, when literally every single fucking sketch starts off with what me and Joey just said. It's like a guy who's hanging from a cliff, and it ends on a cliffhanger. Yeah. Every time, oh. which is just him still on the cliff. <laughs> yeah. Cool. He never leaves that cliff. That's. I think one time he left. I would have like fucking, fucking loved this show. Deal. I'm mad. Like right. I'm, I'm mad. I didn't watch because it's like I watch educational content a lot now. It was like a like baby or Crash Box. That's that's my. I've heard. Oh, I right. also didn't watch Crash Box. You didn't watch no. Crash Box. Oh, bro. No. I watched it. Crash Box. You would have loved yeah. Crash Box. Dylan would have loved, 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 loved the Crash shit out of Crash Box. It was like kids trivia, bro. It was kids. Yeah, that's exactly up your alley. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I think I just like I would actually do trivia. I think that's the weird thing. You were actually doing adult trivia as a little kid. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah with, no, with that's what friends. I'm saying. Yeah, 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 yeah. That wasn't a joke. That's what you were doing. Mm-hmm. But oh, friends and shit. I wanted to get back into between the lines. There was a segment that scared the shit out of me. My mother told me. She said it was the detective potato. Oh no. There's one. It, it's filmed like <laughs> a noir. Be the puppet. Can we pull up an? They're image? all puppets. Can we pull up an no, image? I mean, there's like that of silly puppet potato? guy. Oh, he's creepy. I want to visualize it. Yeah, I, I, I'm having trouble visualizing a creepy potato. <laughs> uh, or at least when you're young, it's different, right? So. Like, it was it was filmed in noir, so it was in black and white, and there was a potato. Sam's <laughs> butt. Yes, I remember. <laughs> that's, okay, that's pretty yeah. creepy. That's pretty that creepy. shit what? scared me as yeah. a kid, and it'd be talking. I'm sitting in my office, oh, yeah. sick yeah. him, <laughs> man. <laughs> and then, look, see, and then uh, people would come in, and, and there were just food. It's like yeah. neo noir almost. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's their weird. lips, yeah. their, their lips wouldn't move. And sometimes, like, people would get hurt. So, like, he's, she's been juiced. And they'll, like, have the juice squeezing. Like, it was just mad uncomfortable for, like, a child watching that. I was, like, uncomfortable. I was, like, I don't like this shit. This is who I thought Joey was scared of. This guy. Yeah. He, nah, he didn't bother me. I've seen this guy. He, like, I've seen this around. guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He puts things in his pants and he shakes it around to make a different word. And then this was a uh, yeah. cliffhanger. Probably so maybe I have seen famous. It. Yeah. That's cliffhanger. You got to be creative to make some kid shit, huh? Honestly, yeah. yeah. You gotta Look at that. Creative. He's this reading like, a book. This is like 20 different shows. This is crazy. Word. It felt like... And there was like a Word. Dick and Jane, which was two kids walking yeah. around, and they would like, Look, Jane, look. It says this. <laughs> <laughs> what you write these shows? <laughs> yeah, word. I think, uh, I think the duck was trying to warn them of a danger every episode, yeah. and she would spell in the dirt, like the word. Yeah, I remember that. Like run, yeah. and she would put R, and they'd be uh-huh. R, 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 and then she'd put U, U, U. <laughs> And then Ed, and then, no, run, run, Jane, so run. It be the Dracula, but like. Did you guys yeah. ever? You guys ever see Fetch with Ruff Ruffman? No. That oh show was actually my! Cool. I watched I, I uh, Defunct Land. One of his newest uh, documentaries was on that Ruff show? Ruffman. Yeah. Show was actually kind of good. Yeah. I never heard of it. It was like a it was like a PBS kind of like kids reality show. Yeah. Interesting. It, the best way I could describe it is the Amazing Race with children. It was very strange looking. It was like let's have kids do fun shit yeah. essentially, but, and it, com- but it was compete. like in a competition yeah. type thing. Oh. So like it was educational like to the sense where like they would send the kids to like I don't know an aquarium, and then they'd have to do like aquarium based challenges. Oh, that's like, like okay. scavenger hunt. Like go scavenger find hunt. these fish. Like identify blah blah. And blah. they filmed it and made it into a show. Yeah, and then. And like every week, someone gets eliminated. And yeah, or and then like the kids <laughs> get points, and as the show goes on, it points, goes to like yeah, top, they don't get so eliminated. There's a winner at the end, 
Oh, and I should probably mention that it's hosted by a cartoon dog. Yeah, Ruff it's Ruffman. hosted by a cartoon Ruff, dog. Yeah. Ruffman. Interesting. Yeah. It's like a fat dog with glasses. It's like a, it's like, like he's gonna sit back and see what happens. Yeah, like, he's just yeah. Like, it's, a, it's um, very out of place, but yeah. very good. Would they talk to this cartoon dog? Yep. Mm-hmm. Full interaction. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Like there's like a monitor and they're and, and they're told to look there. Yeah, and, and the dog say your line. basically tells him like what they have to do. He's like, you're gonna go here, and then he's like, oh, you know what's another jokes. thing? I think I think they used to split the kids up. So one group of kids would go to one place, and then another group of kids would go do something else. Mm. So he's like, your team has to take this envelope and go to fucking France, and then I don't know. <laughs> That's <laughs> interesting because kids who are not there are very interested in what they're doing and mm-hmm. they're kind of learning at yeah, the same yeah, yeah. time and, as they're learning. And it's exciting because it's like, that's what you want to watch as like a kid. Like I was, I want to do that. Yeah. Like, like I want to, yeah. I want to go on a scavenger hunt. Like that's why I feel like legends of the hidden temple was such a good show. Oof, that was Cause a it good was like, show. I want to fuck I'm Wait, oh, I can see it's right there. I could fucking, I, I beat that in 30 seconds. That scavenger. I hunt. could do this. Physical this dumb challenge. bitch had ran into the guy, had to hand him the coin. <laughs> legends of the hidden temple was the most savage television yeah. show <laughs> ever created. It's, yeah. it is. They they started every episode and they hyped it up. They were like, "We've got six fucking teams, right?" They go through. It. They're like the Red Jaguars, the Blue Barracuda, and the, the Purple the Green Nurples. Monkeys, the Purple Parrots, the Orange Iguanas, the Silver Snakes. And in the first two minutes of the show, two of those teams get immediately yeah. eliminated. Like they we're just fall yeah. into the water, and they're gone. like, "Thanks to the Purple Parrots and the Red fucking Jaguars." All right, trivia. Here's a scooter. Get the fuck out. And then yeah. they're, <laughs> they're like, literally, the whole ninety percent rest of the show is just focused on the rest of the teams. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And and then, hilarious yeah. that must suck to be the Body. first person yeah the first person to get eliminated like the first team also i'm sorry i have to get this off my chest this is something that's been bothering me ever mm-hmm. since i, I started i watched that show as a kid so at the end of the the legends of the hidden temple the winning team gets to run through the temple and it's this big obstacle course hate, right? everyone hated you it's yeah. fucking bullshit all right there's like these temple guards that are <laughs> randomly positioned in the temple and if the kids go into that room, then the temple guard comes out and then takes like a life from them, which is like a medallion. And if they run into too many temple guards, then their run is over and they don't win the fucking thing. That shit is rigged as all hell. Yeah. Word, They're literally course. just like, yo, Joe, uh, this fucking kid's in this room. Go get him. And he's like, all right, no problem. Yeah, he, he probably puts out a cigarette and mm-hmm. just fucking, I'm the temple guard, <laughs> motherfucker. Yeah. Like, oh, you know, booga booga. Yeah. He's, you're right. They essentially made it so you had to get like three tokens yeah, or something to be I able to like. You needed shit. to do well on the other challenges. Yeah. So in case case you were caught by this temple guard person you were kind of safe mm-hmm. can i go on some more fucking hold on before show, you go a kid show i was on a i saw a documentary about nickelodeon and it, oh, yeah. when it got into the portion of uh kids television shows they said that um double dare it was like filmed in a basement. They said it. they yeah, were the like pi- the pilot was filmed. They said in that the... like it was in a basement. They didn't know what was going on. It was just like awkward. This and where we start, motherfuckers. Yeah. And uh, they said uh, one of the challenges they were supposed to put a key in a giant pillow sack, and it was filled with feathers. And there was a key in there. And they uh, and on the documentary they were interviewing the woman. They said no one put the key in there. Someone <laughs> forgot to put the key in there. And it was filmed live. Yeah. Oh. And you see, they're like, you got 60 seconds to complete this whole obstacle course. You need to get the key, then do this, then do this, then do this, and do this, and only 60 seconds. Yeah. And for 60 seconds, those kids looked in that feather pillow. <laughs> they opened it. They tore it apart. They shook it. And the announcer's like, keep tracking. It's, it's and you remember, in there. And you remember that as a kid growing up being like, Fucking Mark Summers, Mark that piece Summers of shit. Like, <laughs> I'm <laughs> hoping this is Mark Summers. Yeah, 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 yeah. That guy's like, it's a, it's in there. It definitely. And then the timer went out, and the kids look like mad, upset, and disappointed. They went through the whole thing. They're and they're like, like frustration. oh well. He goes, we're sorry, you didn't find it. I, I, we know it's in there. We know, I know someone put it in there. We'll take a look at that off, off screen. And I'm like, shit. They, they, they was... really made a kid like go through a minute of just like. In one portion of the obstacle course. They yeah. had a whole other obstacle course to complete. <laughs> so it's funny Joey brings that up because it's actually very similar to what I was going to talk about. You ever seen the show Finders Keepers? Mm-hmm. I think I saw one episode. It's like one of the oldest kids game shows. Isn't there like a house? Like it's a house that it's pops a, open. Yeah. I saw one episode. So the gist of this game show is like, you know those books like the I Spy books where they like hide images and stuff like that? They mm-hmm. do a round of that where they show you a picture with hidden images and they're like, find the bell. And then the team has to buzz in and they're like, the bell's right there. They circle it on their thing and they're like, you found it. Mm-hmm. When a team wins that round, they go into a big house. It's like a fake set house that pops open it's like a giant doll house yeah exactly a giant doll house so you could actually physically go up and down the stairs and they have fake rooms like the kitchen and the, the dining room and the attic and all that shit the way the game works is the host brings the kids into the room and he's like all right here's your riddle 
He gives them a riddle where he's literally like, blah, 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 blah. You can't see me, but da, da, da. And he's like, all right. I 30. hate that riddle, And then he's like, 30 seconds on the clock. Find it. And these kids just have to search like a dirty ass room in 30 seconds and find whatever the fuck has to correspond so you have to, to that find, riddle. So you have to solve the riddle and find it. You need to it. solve the riddle and find it in yeah, 30 like, seconds. Good luck, eight year old. Yeah, exactly. And Good these, luck, and these small kids child. destroy the room. They're like throwing coats. And then at the end, it'll be like, oh, sorry. And they'll just like move the coats aside and in the pocket of one coat they were like we were looking for this ring yeah sorry kids just get the fuck out like i hated that show so it was always like that what type. kid like it was always be like in the attic right and be like oh no we were looking for the shoe and it's like above here like these kids are fucking four two, they can't they're reach like, it yeah, they're like sorry kid get the fuck out like, so bro stupid. when you're a kid and you're watching this and you're watching this fucking and this fucking like <laughs> manipulative thing you're like bro like that, that gets you like yeah 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 yeah, yeah. yeah. It gets no you idea, genuinely yeah. angry. You want to, you want to, like almost you want to swap places in that moment. Like, bro, Word. tag me in. Because tag me in. It's not that hard. Because if it's not rigged against you, you know you can win. Right. You know you're you're Meg. You're six years old. You're in your prime. You're ready. You're six years old. You know everything. <laughs> you can you can fit under any space. <laughs> you're the good. few legit ones were like Double Dare when they got their shit together. I mean the yeah. game show ones were good. Like the actual, not the not guts. the fi- guts. I was about to bring guts up guts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Guts, guts was. You had to dope. climb a fucking rock climbing wall. You, you had to climb up a rock scores. wall while people like grown men were throwing rocks at you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, true, bro. The only shitty part was they didn't get to keep the aggro crack. No. What? That was like a big thing somebody mm-hmm. revealed that on reddit like five years ago or they something. didn't get to keep it no that's because they only had one copy they're not gonna make like, you more. get a piece of the aggro crag fucking psych <laughs> that's bullshit and it's always sick too it's like this glowing steaming it's this rock glowing like, rock that glows well, in the dark well what bro? you think they just got a million glowing rocks <laughs> <laughs> You think they have they have to go back and forth to the moon they to collect these to golden back to rocks? Planet Agro. Right. Yeah. <laughs> it's a moon rock. That's it's fucking oh, like special minerals. I remember they used to have figure it out. That one was cool. I think they revived that show for a bit. They tried, yeah. They yeah. tried. I saw something. Yeah, that one was cool. Fucking that was like their uh Yo, get on that guys. Get, make some kids TV Nick shows. Gas was a fucking amazing Nickel thing. Early's Nickelodeon, like cause Nickelodeon wasn't cartoons. It was just kind of children's programming. Mm-hmm. And some of the live action shows were just mad bizarre. Like I was like, what? Yeah, yeah, yeah early Nick early Nickelodeon was like weird. Yeah, yeah fucking like uh what were these shows? Like uh my favorite one is Pete and Pete. Pete and Pete, like the world according to what is it, Clarissa or something like. That. Clarissa. Clarissa explains it all. That one, mm-hmm. like a lot of shows. Would like you be that. afraid, of, afraid the of the dark? Yeah, we kind of came in at like that, all that Amanda show era. Yeah, our era was all that and Amanda show. So we kind of saw like what a sketch comedy and show host yeah. was like. Which, by the way, those sketches were amazing yet also horrible, right? Like, they were so yeah. good, but they were... No, they were fucking hilarious. My favorite <laughs> Amanda Show sketches were the ones where, like, they do the reality show where, like, they put five people in, in like, a, a circu- In a circumstance, yeah. yeah. And they're like, the last one to leave is the winner, but they make it mad dramatic. Yeah. And they're like, fuck, I gotta get out of the bathtub. <laughs> I gotta use the bathroom. Yeah. I got. And so always something crazy is going on. Or something in the person's life is happening as he's trying to do yep. this contest. Not my sister and I were talking about the dancing lobsters. Oh, uh, bring in Wait, the dancing lobsters. Bring in the dancing lobsters. Like, who thought of that? Mm. Like, what kind of person was in the in the writing room and like, and at the end of every episode, bring in the dancing lobsters? It's yeah, Mr. I mean, the Mr. beginning Mr. to guy. make fun of Judge Judy, but then also yeah. to have the foresight to throw. I never something. put together. You remember the the sketches they used to do where they used to prank called like the old fat guy? Yeah, that's Dan Schneider. I never put that mm-hmm. together. Oh shit! Really? Yeah. The feet mm-hmm. guy? Yep. Mm-hmm. The, feet, the guy. feet guy. But yeah, he. The you got you got to give yourself a cameo. Numbers. Always in a sketch comedy show. You know, he, that's the only one he did though. After yeah. that, he didn't. He was in anything. You guys I low key found that guy really funny. Yeah. The the chubby guy that oh, they always the prank called. Yeah, yeah. There was an episode he was a substitute teacher. <laughs> no, it wasn't. It wasn't that character. It was another character. But there was a substitute teacher that believed everything the students told him. Yeah, Mr. Gullible. Yeah, there we go. You remember <laughs> Jerry? Gullible. Shit, you remember live action stuff too? Yeah. Yeah, I remember Amanda show. Yeah, but Randy they were French. like, that was my show. Mr. Gullible. Yeah, when we practice a fire drill. They break the fire extinguisher with oh, their head. Yeah? Really? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> the best. <laughs> Fucking great, bro. And he's like, glass tastes like blood. 
Yeah, and I remember yeah. crying as a yeah. kid. I it was a good sketch. Was they they really went overboard. Like I remember one specifically where like he was getting a haircut and they literally cut his ear off, like on the show. Yeah. And oh I was like, that's God. why. As like a little kid, I that's, was like, that's insane. That's children's programming yeah. for you. Nineties children's programming. I wanna, Block I, Bleister. Oh, I wanna, amazing. I want to bring up one more Nick show. Did yeah. We all watch Ned's Declassified. Yes. 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 Mm-hmm. Who was the best teacher on Ned's Declassified? Bro, the. It had to have been the woodsmith, the the wood the, the wood shop teacher. The wood shop yeah. teacher, pretty good, yeah, 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 with the fake hand. You know what's funny about it? It always switched hands. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like that was one of the jokes. Yeah. Like, so first of all, I encourage everybody to go back and watch Ned's Declassified because I've went back and I've watched. A lot I want of, like, to the Dan Schneider show. I want and that's to not watch a Dan Schneider show. But Nesdi Classified is still fucking hilarious. It's a good. It's I want to watch it. <laughs> it's a one of the better. A lot of the a lot of the members are still really cool with yeah. each other. I They're, saw the thing where like Ned is roommates with the bully. That uh, yeah, he was roommates with the him. curly headed bully is now like his his roommate. And apparently they, they weren't even friends during like the, the during production. Sh- production. Yeah. They met each other like ten years after, and they were probably just wow. like you were in that show I was in. Yo, yeah, remember that? You used to bully me. <laughs> But fucking uh, that show is also really inclusive. Like, there's so many like yeah. actors of all different races. All different in it. races. What it was, was also really cool is like you know like characters like Moe's are really athletic are on teams and play with like the boys and stuff like that. And then characters like Cookie try out for like cheerleading and shit like that. It was a really like different show like that. There's even like that whole episode where there's Ned a bully that is in the, the knitting baby. club. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So I thought that was a really cool show. It didn't really like bend to stereotypes like it. But I love the teachers. I'd argue like the teachers in that show are like Batman villains because they're like the best fucking like characters on the show. There was a teacher that was in a box, like the yeah, roll, the, the roller woman, TV. the math teacher. The yeah. math teacher never entered the school. She was always on a roller TV and always had like a student walk. Like, it was a different student yeah. every time yeah. walking with the teacher. And if uh, if Gordy counted, then he'd obviously be yeah. the best teacher. Gordy's the Gordy. janitor, right? Gordy, yeah, Yo, Gordy. Gordy. Really count. It's also important to have shows like that, like for that do school. Yeah. But like focus only on school because that's like a big part of your childhood. Yeah, like you spend yeah. mad time in school. Yeah. Where they, Very they, large percentage they, of like, your life. They somehow yeah. wanted to make <clears throat> basically like what the title said, uh, a guide to school for children made by a child. Like, And I was like, that's kind of cool. And for the record. Like only half that show worked in Catholic school, but Word. half still, that stuff worked. Still, some very informative things in there. Word. Lie. I remember one thing stood out. I forgot it then, but I remember seeing it as a kid. And after he wrote it, I was like, "Oh my god, why haven't I thought of that?" He's, <laughs> Ned is a genius. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I can only imagine just being like, trying it Bro, in school and just being retired. Like, that was like that was an S tier. Fucking show. It was mm-hmm. a great show. You yeah. remember uh, Mr. Sweeney, the uh, science teacher who was like evil, but then he has like a secret heart of gold. Like he loves the kids. Oh, yeah. He was really nice. I remember they showed like when outside of class. <laughs> I can't remember any other teacher, but I don't think there was a lot. There was the, the vice president who's like literally like the Miami vice president with the white suit. Yes. Hey, oh, my I need God. you to stop doing that, bro. Like, <laughs> he always had yeah, a glass. The glasses. The fucking fire You're running in the hallway. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Oh man, there's like the I forgot his name, but he's like the, I think he's the theater teacher. He's the old black guy. He always has like the words of advice, but he he's always like mad theatrical. With yes, shit. I remember that. There's the music teacher with the giant fucking mutton chops, the white hair, and he's like mad foreign. Yes, you have to pick instrument. I remember. Wow, these I'm gonna watch this show now. Yes. Watch Ned's the class. It's important. It's incredible. incredible. Oh, there was the home ec <coughs> teacher. He was like gay, I think. But he was like, "Okay, Cookie, Ned, I have to put you two together." With the glasses, the blonde guy. This is not ringing a bell. Yeah, fucking. Uh, he wasn't in as often, but he was. No, in... he was. Yeah. Yeah. Fucking, you know him by face. Look it up. Are oh, we gonna look him up? All right, let's look up this Bro, teacher. Just look up a list of all the teachers. Right, that's what I was gonna look up. I was gonna try to fucking <laughs> find. Teachers in Nesdy Classified. Nesdy Classified. I remember I didn't watch it because back in the hey, day baby, we didn't have right. Paramount Plus, and the <laughs> first thing <laughs> was the music one. <laughs> The woodshop teacher. Yo, coconut, coconut head. head. I remember him. Oh, he spoke like this. Yep. Oh, he's very... in everything. This guy is in like everything. He's in a lot of stuff. Oh, the gym teacher. He's literally. Yeah, the gym teacher. <coughs> I forgot about her. That guy. I found that her guy pretty is as a literally. Kid. I was like, the gym teacher's pretty. That guy's the one from. Uh, uh, this uh, He's in a lot of Austin stuff. Powers. I know what you mean. Yeah. Remember, remember this? Remember this episode, Dill? That's the lead singer of Everclear. Yeah. Yep. That was a sick ass episode. Yeah. Oh, that's the music, like the music teacher. teacher. Yeah. He becomes yeah, yeah. the music teacher him how to and play Ned guitar. Wants to rock. Because he know? actually plays guitar. That's a great, great collab episode. That was a good episode. Look Damn, at Coconut I, I Head. I want to just be like gay teacher, but, you know, gay teachers. <laughs> uh, to gay. Gay eachers. 
And shout out. <laughs> <laughs> we, should, we should title this segment Gay Eaters. <laughs> That's not him. It was this guy. Oh! Yeah, 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 this guy. <laughs> yes, I remember now. Mm-hmm. I remember now, yeah. Damn, this show had way more teachers than I remember. I remember this guy, too. He was like the creepy dude. <laughs> he put the, the creepy like, class? <laughs> what did he teach? Word. I don't remember, but he was always like, oh, yeah, I have this thing. I think he taught like He was like a hippie, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. He was like a scientific teacher. Yeah, yeah, yes, yeah. he was, and he was cool with Moe's. Mm. Yeah, I think that's what it was. Mm. You, gotta, you gotta peace and love, man. Yeah, man. That show you was still... great. Now I kind of want to watch the music mm. class. But... Yeah, yeah, I know what we're doing. I want to go back to school so I can test these. Like, <laughs> just so I can see. Just so I can test these old things, these tips out, you know? Word. Well, is it time? It's again, then, hey. It's time. I'm not gonna lie; I don't really have a jam prepared, so I kind of have to go fishing real quick. I got one. I've got some music on me phone, <coughs> but so what you're saying is I'll go first. Yeah. All right. <laughs> so my yam is uh, "Strung Out" by Deep October. Mm-hmm. Very good song. Very chill. Kind of sounds like if like Twenty One Pilots did a trap rap song. Uh huh. It's so pretty good. Fire. I don't like Twenty One Pilots, but that's a way I could describe it. I have a I have a jam actually. Oh okay. My jam is a uh, I can't say the name of my jam, no. but it's it's a Wu Tang Clan song. <laughs> oh okay. And it okay. Is shame on a neighbor. Yeah. Shame and, uh, on it's neighbor. not neighbor. I'll let you do the word <laughs> word substitution for that one. But a classic nonetheless. It's great. I was watching a live performance of it, and I think like Berlin or something like that. And the Riz is like, uh, normally it's weird to look at a crowd of white people saying the N word. But we gonna give you a pass. <laughs> Screaming, we're done. <laughs> this is the whole crowd of like fucking Germans that are like, shame on us. <laughs> it's okay, oh guys. Oh my okay. god, those guys must have been crazy. <laughs> that must have been a crazy concert. They were so Kid. like, oh my god. Yes. <laughs> everyone, everyone leaves. It's okay. It. He said I can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As everyone's leaving, they're like. All right, now keep this a secret. <laughs> Let's not tell anybody. Don't we'll tell anyone. Bring right. everybody's head. Like, look, look, don't tell anybody. Don't, yeah, we took away. Yo, you don't got. Things. Tomorrow you wake <laughs> up, you don't got it no more. You can't say it. It was a one-time thing. <laughs> they give you like a physical card at the start of the show, and you have to put it back at the end, like 3D glasses. You on have to rock. sign Dude, a slip man. to not be designated as a racist. <laughs> sign here, yeah. Oh man. Oh, uh, I've been uh, listening to a lot of music, but I this song keeps popping back into my head. Uh, it's when I the song we heard at our concert. Uh, we went to see A Day to Remember, and they played a song that they were featured in by Marshmallow called Rescue Me. Rescue Me. Yeah, it's cool. Uh, they don't have uh, just like a Day to Remember version, like just a rock version, because at their concert, it was just electric guitars, and it was like really dope. If you look up the song, it's going to be the Marshmallow and their version, so there's like techno beeps in it as well. But uh, it's still dope. It was really fun. That's it was, the only a day to remember song I have on the jams, actually. Wow, yeah. it, it's still a very fun song, and it was like I've never heard the song before. And by a minute, I'm singing the song with a crowd of people all saying it. Like I was like, "This is it's, fun." It's pretty simple too. It's so a it's simple like, song, yeah, and I joined in. I was like, "This is fun, man." That's, this the, is awesome. that's the music video where they're like on a beach, yeah. right? Like, yeah, they're stranded, stranded on an yeah, island yeah, with Marshmallow. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I think my girlfriend really likes that song. Actually, it's a good I totally song. forgot about it. Does she like uh, all the other heavy songs they have? My girlfriend's just into that stuff. Right. She would be. So she would be. Yeah. What uh? What you got for us, Kith shirt man? What is Kith? Kith is a brand. It's a cool. it's a it's a very comfortable brand. Yeah, yes. I have some stuff by them. I'm gonna buy Soft a shirt. shirt. Now. Uh, my I'm song. Too far. <laughs> I'm too far. Just noise. feel through Dylan. Dylan will feel through. Yeah, feel my feel shirt, bro. Through. Circle. <laughs> it's his arms. <laughs> oh, there you go. <laughs> feel my shirt, bro. <laughs> bro, I can't reach that far. I got the mic in front of me. <laughs> My song is uh, Evian by Goldlink. It's a good one. I don't know what that is. I like Goldlink. Goldlink is good. I don't yeah. know who. who you should is. listen to all these yeah. songs because when we turn off the cameras, we actually listen to all our songs. Like right yeah. after we yeah. turn this off. As we're setting up, we like like deset everything. That's the way. And then I like do that. Mm-hmm. I do that thing where you just take like the artist and you just go through like their top five, like through the new artists that I find. Mm-hmm. You guys. Hell Boom, yeah! New music. Oh yeah! Boom. All so right. Discover weekly some release. But yeah, radar. check it out. Word. Listen to like a minute of each of our songs. Check out the Jam Yam Bam and Slam of the Week. There's a lot in there. Sounds good. Yeah. I'm uh, surprised you said that without messing up. That was really right. dope. <laughs> without uh without further ado, make sure to go ahead and like. Make sure to go ahead and subscribe. Thanks for checking out Phase Two. It's coming stupid soon. And uh stupid. yeah, like we said earlier, stupid. click that bell because 
No more one uh, one upload a week. There's no. gonna be a lot more you stuff. No, you're gonna, you're gonna, yeah, gonna come gonna on. Be a lot of cool shit. You're gonna and be cooking some stuff. Yeah. You're gonna be scared. You're, you're gonna, gonna be like, hey, it's three more uploads. What the fuck? Come get lit with us. Play some games. We're gonna yeah. be doing a lot more stuff. We even have ideas, honestly. And we joke yeah. a lot about <coughs> Phase Three and shit, but we have ideas for yeah. stuff. That There's we're, stuff there. We're gonna get there eventually, but yeah. slow and steady wins the race. And we yeah. gotta start pulling people in. So tell your friends, come in and join us for some other cool shit coming. And uh, does anybody have any anything left to... Uh, I'm going to go back to Comic-Con and scare some more people. All right. Comment. I never said what the comment. Oh, Dylan. Yeah. What, what we comment? Comment what you're looking forward to. Yeah, really. Bitches. Seriously. Yeah. Oh, shit. All right. Well, probably Use lost. the cuss yeah. word. You can't say that, bro. No. No. You can't say that on TV. Because then we're not on TV. <laughs> I mean, we could, we could start singing that Wu-Tang song. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah.